Philippians 3, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on. Philippians 3, pressing on in Jesus. <coughs> on a run in the forest, I tried to find a shortcut and went down an unfamiliar path. Wondering if I was lost, I asked a runner coming the other way if I was on the right track. Yep, he replied confidently. Seeing my doubtful look, he quickly added, Don't worry, I've tried all the wrong routes, but that's okay. It's all part of the run. What an apt description of my spiritual journey. How many times have I strayed from God, given into temptation, and been distracted by the things of life? Yet God has forgiven me each time and helped me to move on, knowing I will certainly stumble again. God knows our tendency to go down the wrong path, but he's always ready to forgive again and again if we confess our sins and allow his spirit to transform us. I fully agree with that. Paul, too, knew this was all part of the faith journey. Fully aware of his sinful past and current weaknesses, he knew he had to yet he knew he had yet to obtain the Christ-like perfection he desired. In quotes, but one thing I do, he added, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on. Stumbling is part of our walk with God. It's through our mistakes that he refines us. His grace enables us to press on as forgiven children. What mistakes can you confess to God today? How can his assurance of forgiveness help you to press on in your walk of faith? Thank you, God, for your mercy. Help me to lead a life that pleases you, knowing that your spirit is working in me to transform me into your son's likeness. I fully agree with that. That's a good one. Um, and just something different, but it kind of make, makes me think of this. Uh, God knows every move you make, every thought you think, every secret, every, nothing is hidden. <laughs> the more you think about that, that can be embarrassing. But nothing is hidden. Knows, knows your need before you need it. Knows it counts every hair, 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 hair on your head. Knows it all. We can hide nothing from him. Okay. So with someone who has that sort of um, intel, knows that much about us, it would probably be in our best interest to include him in our life, in our decision making. Um, you know, it's hard for me because I'm just such an independent person. But when you, when you realize the person you're dealing with, in essence, is it is standing next to you all the time. <laughs> every word you speak, every thought you think, knows it before. It's just you know you you if you if you can't imagine a better partner, but it would be it's why why do we ignore him, or pretend it's not there, or that we're alone? I make these mistakes, so if you keep that in mind, the idea is to have him indwelling in you but just as as a as a not so spiritual person sometimes it's better for us to think if you knew in every step you take he's there with you we might act differently and we also might be more inclusive realizing hey what a partner to have just thinking love you god bless